Hello everybody! Praise be to God and welcome back to Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime. So, this episode is not going exactly according to plan. So, we're going to do uh, we're going to start doing Tank Masters mode this episode. My plan was to off-screen grind on all of the items we needed to get the last two HP increases. The problem is the last HP increase requires five Kafrizzles, and I cannot get Kafrizzles. I have the recipe for them, but it requires Oracle Slimes, and the only way I have of getting Oracle Slimes is a recipe, and I can't get the recipe until I duel out of Tank Master's mode. I read online that there was a tank battle that if you keep clearing, you'll eventually get Kafrizzles. I have cleared it like ten times and only get Meteors. So on the plus side, if we go to our tank, We've got, like, seven meteors in our tank. So that's pretty great, but... It's, it's not good that we don't have Kefrizzles yet. Also, I have all of my family in my tank. I've got Bo, Big Daddy, and Mamma Mia. They're a great combo. And I do have what's needed for the first of the two level ups. The Schleeman Miracle. Seven toy slimes that I bought at the store, and then two Metal King Swords that I won off of beating Slivel a bunch of times at Mount Crack Trota. So we're gonna do this. I believe this increases the HP by 250. I was right. So, at the end, our tank will have 1,500 health, which is pretty substantial, but we're going to have to find some Kefrizzles first. Now, before we go to Tank Master's mode, I do want to go to his Wobbliness's palace, because we have a whole bunch of canvases now. So we have his Royal Wobbliness, the Blue Sky, Slime Face, which is like a blank uh, slime face, an empty frame, and a Plata Portrait. Let's see the Plata Portrait. We can make him say whatever we want. That's kind of hilarious. Oh man, what should I make him say? This actually might be a little bit tough. No, it's not. I think that looks great, don't you? <laughs> so I believe that's all the canvases in the game. Anyhow, that's enough stalling. Let's go to Tank Master's mode and see what that's all about. Also, we're going to absolutely destroy the first few rankings of Tank Master's mode. Because the tanks that I will be facing are... a joke. To put it quite frankly. Hey, Mori Mori. Ragazzo, are you ready for the passion? Yes. I knew you would say yes, Ragazzo. You, you have the gusto. Aye, what's wrong? Why the long faces? Mamma mia, I am stupid though. I forgot to explain to you the rules. <laughs> this is the site of the world's greatest tank champion, Naruto. The arena of the Magnifico tank combat. Ah, oh, the sights, the sounds, and the smells. I no, no, this is something else. Scusi, I mean, to say, this is Tank Masters! You must start from the bottom, Ragazzo, from the rank C. But with the passion and the gusto, you can become the champion of champions. Use your Choose your rank, Ragazzo. So there are four different ranks, C, B, A, and S. We're in rank C to begin with. And which battaglia of rank C will you enjoy your gusto? The prima batal battaglia. You want to fight to this one, I? Yes. Bueno Vito to Tank Masters! The arena of gusto, thrill, and passion! Choose a tank with the control pad up and down, press the A button when you is decided. So we're up against a Platy Panzer with 500 HP. Pretty, pretty bad, considering where we are. So we can actually choose our tank that we want to be in, and we can be in any of the tanks that we have essentially faced up against, with the exception of the demon tank. So we've got the Platy Panzer, the Carrot Top, the Golemator, Persecutor, the Short Shot. You unlock the Schwarzman tank when you defeat Slivel on Mount Krakatrota. 
So once you have done that, you will get his Tank and Tank Masters mode. We have the Chrono Twigger, the Fortnite, the T-Rex, the Cyclone, the Pyromaniac, the Splatty Panzer, the S-Cargo, which we fought where Slivel used to be in Mount uh, Flying Clotris uh, a little in the last episode. We've got the DQ Swords, the Enforker, the Cacti Ball Sticks, the yeah, War Chest, the Demolition Man, the, the Charlemagne, that's Giggles! That's a tank you've never seen before. That's what Megan gave us, I believe, in that one uh, video. I believe it was the Fusifer's Necropolis video. And that's it. I'm gonna be in Giggles, just to show it off. Are you ready to start the Batalgia? Yes. Rank C Prima Batalgia! Rocket and the Ragazzi versus Wise Guy and Babo, the four wood fledglings. We're up against Wise Guy and Babo, guys! So it's the Platy Panzer, unbelievable, versus Giggles, no laughing matter. Alright, let's beat them up big time. Fire at will! Babo! Take out that Schleeman tank! I love how we get this music. So, Big Daddy's gonna infiltrate and sabotage and just cause mayhem. Mama Mia, I'm gonna set to Mum Missile mode, because that's insanely powerful. And Bo, bring me ammo. So, Mama Mia's Mum Missile move seems to da deal damage proportional to the tank's max HP. So, up against Slivel in the last episode, because he had 3000 HP, she was dealing like 700 damage. Whereas in a match like this, she might deal like 70. Thank you, Bo. Aw, oh, man. Whoa, he's got Buster Swords. He means business, actually. I also got myself a Metal King Shield. I got myself one of absolutely every piece of ammo, including the tablets. Except Kafrizzles. Kafrizzles are the one piece of ammo that I just can't seem to get my hands on. But once we beat, I believe, rank A of Tank Masters mode, we unlock a recipe for Oracle Slime. And then we'll be able to actually uh, get the stuff. Thank you, Bo. Yeah, look at all these Meteors I have. Meteors are great because they're insanely fast and really powerful. Not really sure why I still have the Destructo Ball in my tank, but whatevs. And I'm also sad, I think this is the last time we hear this music in the game. Mirror Shield's only useful if they have got good ammo. We've been Linguini! We're gonna be toast! Oh, you useless punk! We ain't got no HP! Easy, boss. You're hurting my feelings. So it looks like Big Daddy's doing a pretty good job of beating up Wise Guy and Babo, so they can't really fire out of their cannon. So we're just gonna waltz in here and destroy their free gates and their engine. Yeah, look at this. They've got pom-poms in their tank. Nothing says where we have bad ammo like having pom-poms in your tank. At that point, you're just trying to be bad, because the infinite supply of boulders you have deal three times as much damage. Victory! We don't un we unfortunately do not get items for beating these. We only get items or recipes for beating an entire rank. Magnifico Ragazzo, that is what I'm expecting of you! Aye, you're still in the mood? You want to carry on with the Tank Masters, Ragazzo? Yes. Which Batalga? Uh, the Seconda Batalgia. Bataglia. Bataglia. I'm sorry, I can't do that. And that's another new tank! Oh boy, cool, it's a Drakki. So, choosing another tank. I want to be in Slivel's tank, I think. It's Rocket and the Ragazzi versus Draken Garf's Uzi 9mm Slugs. It's the Schwarzman tank, the anti-hero of Slovenia, versus the Trailblazer, slugging it to ya. It's a giant slug tank. Battle stations! Fire at will! Don't think they'll be easy just because it's rank C. Oh, I think it will be very easy because it's rank C. Um, Bo? I think I've got this. I don't know why I put Bo in the tank, I just wanted to complete the family. I'm gonna throw Mamma Mia in the upper cannon. Oh, they've got spooklier bombs, and I can't actually do anything about that. Oh, that's right. 
Swivel's tank, the whole nice thing is you don't have to ever go down. Um, Bo! Why? Bo! You moron! <laughs> Bo picked up the worst piece of ammo she possibly could have picked up. I, that almost blew up in her face. And that blew up in my face, actually, because they had a piece of ammo right outside my tank when I shot it out. Bo, I blame that on you. Bo's like, there's nothing down here! It's like, uh, Bo, are you blind? Big Daddy, you just defeated? What? They're not that good. Oh, I bet it was because of the hammer hoods. Who actually can be a little menacing. Talk on it! If you jump the gun too early on, throwing stuff in the cannon when Mamma Mia's there, she can lose her mum missile. Certainly not! No HP, you're a tough guy. Who? Oh, that the the poor slug tank when it has no HP, it's missing its eye, and its ton is all bandaged. Stop me if you can. Well, that, these are really simple battles. So, Tank Masters is like a nice fun mode. I like how you can choose your own tank. That is what I'm expecting of you. Alright, let's do the Rank C Grand Finale. Which means we'll get an item after this. Bueno Vito to Tank Masters! So, what should we be in? We haven't seen this one in a while. It's Rocket and the Ragazzi versus Pause Button's Lovely Litter! The Short Shooter, Sizes and Everything versus the Persecutor. Look what the cat dragged in. And the cats are already sleeping. This is gonna be a cinch. And if you want to make this even easier, bring in some cat tails and throw them in their tank. Meow! Let the cat fight begin! Bo, I'm tired of you bringing me ammo. I don't want a disaster like glass. Okay, well, I'm not gonna pick up the medicinal herbs yet. Hmm, they're actually pretty good. Bo... I don't know why I put Bo in my tank. She literally just gets in the way. Actually, Bo, can you just stay asleep? That would be great. Oh, there's a cat in my tank, and Mamma Mia's using magic to destroy it. You go, Mamma Mia. But I kind of need you to charge up. No, why Mamma Mia? She could have dealt so much damage. Alright, you stupid cats. I'm gonna throw the Kaboomite out last, so that way I don't blow up the ammo after it. Oh boy! Goodbye, Persecutor. That Kaboom might really packs a punch. And Mamma Mia inflicts... I don't know how much damage, because they shot out a Buster Sword at the last second. Wow, they haven't managed to damage me yet, which is interesting. They also have 
vastly better ammo than Wise Guy and Babo did. Any tank that has metal keen swords in their ammo is doing pretty well for themselves in the ammo department, and that was a perfect run. We have full HP. Sublime! Congratulations, Regazzo! Next, you do the battle in rank B. I give you this present for conquering the rank C. We receive a Metal King Sword. Oh, that's good. You are going far, Regazzo. I know it. I feel the passion burning inside you. Alright, before we do the next battle, I'm going to put that Metal King Sword in my tank. And we are getting Bo out of our crew. Holy cow. Bo, you are awful. I'm going to remove one of the blue streaks. Even though the uh, golden arrows are less powerful, they are a bit faster, and thus I think they are better. Because they only deal two damage less, but they are noticeably faster. Crew! Okay. Just for kicks, I'm going to put in the golem. Golem is also going to get in my way at the beginning of every tank battle because he spawns right next to the cannons and he's huge and doesn't do anything. But he will be very fun to get inside and destroy people's engines with. Alright, we're going to rank B, Prima Bataglia, Bataglia. Alright, we've got the Carrot Top we're up against next. I like this one. It's Rocket and Rugazi versus Angor's Soft and far Furry Fury. It's the Argonaut, mostly Charmless. Oh, not the Char Charlemagne. It's the Argonaut versus the Carrot Top. Whoops. <laughs> My Golem's just having a lot of t uh, fun. It, it's literally only it, the only thing it can do is wait for me to enter it. Which is kind of awful. Alright, Mamma Mia. Show me what you can do. I'm just going to move this out of the way. That should be mostly out of the way. After it gets destroyed, it spawns and just stays right here, which is where people get revived. Wow, they are awful. They're going to be throwing out their horn pretty soon, I believe. Get all this good ammo. Sure enough, they've got their horn coming out. Well, I've got meteors, so not even afraid. There you go, Mamma Mia. You can help take out the horn. Even though it's not as good as Flucifer's horns, it just takes a lot more to bring down. And my axe came down just a little too early. Hey, you don't want to anchor me! Well, I destroyed your horn, so I think I already have. Kaboomite! Or not Kaboomite. Thank goodness it doesn't ignite. Um, after you hit it, but rather after you pick it up. Man, they're actually pretty good. Big Daddy, you need to get on this. Like, it's your job to make sure that they're distracted.
Man, they're actually, they're putting up a fight because they just keep knocking my ammo out of the sky. Well, it doesn't look like my Kaboom Might is getting knocked out. In your face! Come on, Mamma Mia, you can do it. 85, not enough. Oh, that'll do it. Oh, am I going to lose? Yeah, you are. Gollum! Gollum smash! Out of my way. Blam, 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 blam! One horn a day, okay? Blam! Even the Slime Knights aren't as good at destroying the engine as the Golems are. No. Okay, you can't punch their engine. You do have to Elastoblast it. Still! Efficient at destroying the barriers. That's kind of awesome to use. Not quite as sublime. Alright, let's do the second battle. I think we can do half the battles today and half the battles next episode. Alright, what tank to be in next? Let's be in... Ooh, this is the guy that gives you free Kaboom Might. Let's do this. It's Rocket and Ragazzi versus Barb Eric and the Blowfish Brigade. It's the Demolition Man, better the Devil You Mow, versus the Gollumator. Golly gosh. And it's funny because I have a Gollum. Battle stations. Fire at will. My Iron Balls are going to crush you, senor. Oh, um, my own stuff is getting destroyed thanks to my golem. That's probably not good. Free Kaboomite number one. Mamma Mia, you go through there. Also, I think I'm gonna, from now on, set Mamma Mia to fire like crazy. I feel like I've got good enough ammo that it's better for her to just fire out my amazing ammo. Wait, why didn't I throw Mamma Mia out the candle bef the cannon before my Kaboom Might? Yep, and there's my Golem now. He's like, oh, I'm back. Aw, oh, man. Kubumite got knocked out of the sky before it got to the end. Doggone it, Mamma Mia! Oh, darn it! All of my meteors got knocked out of the sky because the, 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 the tank leader threw himself out of the cannon. And I gotta admire his dedication to keeping his tank alive. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot! Oh, whew! My meteors made it out, but... Just in time for the Iron Shield to knock him out. Mamma Mia, why did you have to pick that up? I'm gonna wait a little bit, just for the Kaboom Might to stop before these get out of the tank. Dang it, the Kaboom Might's not doing so well. Now, Mamma Mia is not as efficient at loading the tanks as I expected her to be. We're missing one HP. And stay out! What's going on? Phew! Zero HP is no possible! 
the golem looked like it just left. That's kind of funny. Golem is coming, going in to take out the golem. Mamma Mia is defeated. Can't say I'm surprised. Oh, come on! Why didn't it destroy the last barrier? Well, that's a sublime ending anyways. Big Daddy and Mamma Mia are two of the best tank uh, companions you can have. Golem's kind of bad, actually, but it's fun to use. Let's do the grand finale of Rank B, and we can probably call it an episode after that. Hey, it's the S-Cargo! That's one that I was actually con contemplating being in. Actually, no, you know what? We're gonna have two of the same tank. It's Rocket and the Ragazzi versus Plucker Duck's Petrifying Punks. They've got two goodie bags and a killing machine! The S-Cargo Snail of the Century versus the S-Cargo Snail of the Century. Only one of us is real. Time to figure out which one it is. I've got more HP, so I'm real. You ain't got nothing on me, pal. So right off the bat, the goodie bags are going to enter our tank. And steal our good stuff. Oh, and the <laughs> the killing machine has come to try to kill me, but Big Daddy's like, uh, nuh uh. Nope. Nuh-uh. Get out of my face, goodie bag. <laughs> the goodie bag's just like, Oh man, where's all the ammo at? I mean, honestly, if he really wants my BS2 blue streak, he can have it. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, I don't want you to take my Metal King shield, though. That's kind of a no-no on my book. Oh, I gotta throw this out. Real fast! Now, the nice thing is, the golden arrow is actually faster. No, don't. Oh, no, that's bad. Stupid edged boomerang. But that's okay, because he's sending all of his crew members into my tank. Um. You having a good time there, dude? Just. Just running into the wall like that? Oh, okay. I ain't scared of you, bro. Oh, you will be. You will be. That guy, is that guy stuck? I haven't... I mean, honestly, I don't care if he is. That's hilarious. Alright. I think we've got this officially under control. So... Oh, he's back. You stupid slime ball! You made me lose my HP. No, son, destroy their engine. Blam, 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 blam. Yeah. Wow, the killing machine actually kind of did its job, but it's too late now. I am the true S cargo, and don't ever forget it. Congratulazoni, uh, rag congratulazioni, ragazzo. Next, you do battle in rank A. I give you this present for conquering the rank B. 
We get a lump of war Colcum. That's worse than a Metal King sword. Okay. You will be locked in combat with the fierce combatant D. Beyond the toes, I, Rogazo. Okay, well that happened. So I figure we can conquer rank A and rank S next episode, and I guess... Somehow, somewhere in there, I will get the final items that we need. Because if you look at the items, I have one of everything now. Even the tablets, except Kafrizzles. And I need freaking five of them. Oh, and in case you guys don't know, Kafrizzles cost six Devil's Tails, which are a pain in the butt to grind for, and two Oracle Slimes! And I don't even have a recipe for Oracle Slimes. It's quite perplexing, that. Alright. What I think I'm going to do... Gollum, it's been fun. I could have Francisco, but he's kind of sucks. I actually do like the goodie bag, but it only works well if the enemies have really good ammo. And at this point I have better ammo, so... Could... Nah. I know I haven't showed off like half of these guys, and honestly I don't need to, because you can see what they do. And you can fi figure out what for them yourself what they do when you play the game. I'm gonna have the free fat slimes in my tank. They're, they tend to be the best. <laughs> Alright. So I guess that's all the time we have for this episode of Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time for, as I said before, we're more Tank Masters mode. We'll be completing most likely both rank A and rank S, because it's just six battles. I forgot it's, there's only three per rank. And yeah, look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless you, my slime.